And if you're curious about the new Ram 3500 and 2500, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. I'm gonna tell you all about these new trucks, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, 35,100 pounds of towing, and some pretty cool technology. Stay with us, we're gonna do a lot more on this right now. Hey, it's Tim Estrell, I'll pick up Truck Plus SUV Talk, and my passion is trucks and SUVs, and I was really fortunate today to be in Arizona, or actually, excuse me, Nevada. I'm in Nevada, of all places. <laughs> it's really windy outside. I'm with it's my friend, windy. Nicole Wakelin. Hello. Uh, Boston Globe, uh, Auto Tell, and Best, best Ride. Yes. Sorry. Uh, we've been having a great day. We're doing a lot of towing today. So I meant to do outside intros on each of these trucks we're doing, but it's like 35 knots of wind, and it's about 35 degrees. You ain't gonna hear a damn thing. <laughs> so, uh, keep watching this video. I'm gonna put little segments. I'll break them apart. I'm gonna have a GoPro inside, and I'll do some voiceovers with this B-roll. I'll tell you more about these trucks, all these new features, and we'll just have a good time. So sit back, pop a top, and enjoy. Here we go. <laughs> so the big news this year is a new front grille and new headlights. There's a new aluminum hood as well. You can see that the cabs that carry over, the beds carry over, and then we have a big max towing number of 35,100 pounds. As you can see in this Larry Longhorn, this B-roll I found, this has got the new grill to it, and you can see how the grill is different for each cab. This is a 2500. It comes in 3500 uh, dualies and single rear wheel. You can get both varieties. Inside the cabin, you're going to notice it's going to look exactly like the new 1500. And so we'll show the inside here. This is basically the spinning image of the 1500 placed on the new heavy duties. So if you've seen the 1500 videos, you can see the new new cabin. You see the big 12-inch screen. That's an optional screen. It comes with an 8.4-inch and a 5-inch. Five 5-inch five is going to be your small for your tradesman. There's a video on this channel about the tradesman itself. So you have a lot of luxury interior finishes. These cabins are just glorious as far as how they look and how they feel inside. And it really is like riding around in the Cadillac. It is amazing how much they've gone, how much they've improved. Now this one did have a column shifter. The diesels will have a column shifter. The gasoline, the 6.4 liter Hemi, will have a turn dial shifter. Moving along, the big improvements are really underneath the cabin. So this is the new frame, 95% high strength steel. It's got the new high output Cummins 6.7 liter Cummins diesel engine in this. This is mated to a ASIN six speed automatic. There's a new 6.7 liter non high output. The non high output doesn't get the thousand foot pounds of torque, which is what the uh, this engine has right here. It's also mated to a six speed automatic transmission. And then there is the 6.4 liter Hemi V8 and that is going to be mated to an eight-speed tra automatic transmission. You'll note there's no manual transmission option this year, and you'll note that there is going to be a lot of uh, advanced sound deadening on this frame. They have these little cylinders that are noise vibration cancelers on the side of the frame here. Uh, that's what's sticking out, and that's going to stop reverberation inside the frame as you're driving. The new transmission is gonna be right here. That's the ASIN. It's been reworked. It should shift better. It's got a new controller in it uh, electronically so it shifts smoother. Uh, and as we work our way towards the back, you can see we have our fuel tanks. We're gonna have our new 12 inch rear axle. This is gonna be the heavy height or the high towing edition. Um, each uh, high output towing, the, uh, smaller, the other one gets a smaller axle. Um, if you don't do the height, uh, heavy towing. And so it's just a really nice uh, frame setup. Really thought about capability. New brakes, bigger brakes, bigger um, rear axle, bigger prop shaft, all redesigned. And it's going to have um, lots of capability. Like I said, 35,100 pounds of max towing. No, I think it's going to be a fun adventure. I'm recording right now. Oh, you're recording? I just started recording, so we're going down the mountain. Okay. A 2020, no, 2019, excuse me, Ram 3500. We have the dually, we have a, we have a dump bed. Trailer dry weight is 8,560 pounds. Payload weight, really 6,340 pounds. Total trailer weight, 14,900 pounds. <laughs> so 14,900 pounds, this is way less than the 31,000 that is in this rig to the right of us as we're yes. passing by. 
That's later on. on the which is, tell me I can drive that, which is going to okay, be fantastic. Over here. So it's a big dump wow. bed in the back of this, and uh, we have. I, I'm not going to be rude, but a no, relatively you're new. No, you fair. I haven't driven new tower. I've driven trucks, but I've never driven anything with quite this heavy, this big of a truck with this much of a um, trailer hooked up to. The right, back. right. So, we, so I mean, this is this is completely new and different for me. Yes, and this is fourteen thousand nine hundred pounds. You could probably do this with a twenty five hundred. And yep. still be within the, the range. Yep. But you're really pushing the payload range. And that's why we do 3,500. Right. But so th this is where trucks change. And I want to say that, and I say that to say that it changes because now you can feel, like you said, mm -hmm. you, you feel, feel the it. weight behind you. Yeah. Which is phenomenally different than driving I around empty. I to adjust this so I can see better, because what? All I see is the trailer. <laughs> so, right, right. so, what they did was they improved the brakes, and they have a bigger rear axle to handle this much weight. But you're going to feel that as we slow down. You feel those brakes yeah. grabbing. You're going to hop oh, a little yeah. bit, and you have the downshift. Yeah, but you can hear it. That's a downhill assist that through the tow haul mode. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to down, downshift and hold you in that gear. More control, right? It does, yeah. It's very controlled, despite how thick that is on the back of this truck. Right. Yeah. I can do this. Right? I got it. Bring on the bigger one. What was the bigger one over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The 35,000 pounds. Do that which one will we do in that one sometime? But <laughs> I just, I always think, okay. I, I tow a lot. Yeah. Right? And I mean, I don't tow a lot, a lot, but I tow a significant amount of time. And I find it always fascinating to watch other people's opinion so on towing. Right. That's a different thing. That's the off-road course. Okay. We, we can see the off-road folks off to our right. Yep. We can so. see the power wagon folks. Yeah. There's a whole power wagon little convoy over there. Right. So, like I said, I'm always fascinated. So, what it is we're going to go down? It's a five mile loop. Yeah. We're going down a six percent grade. We're going to turn on it. I think it's he said five percent of the way back. Yeah. Which should be interesting. I think it's the same. Why wouldn't the grade going down be the same? I think it was the miles. You're hearing miles where it's something about yeah. you, want, you could go further up. Than oh, you could go further up. Yeah. You can pass where we started. So. But so we'll turn it on and just go back up. But yeah. And you can feel that. You can feel it. But, you know, you can feel it, but it's not like this disconcerting sensation where you feel like you're not in control. It's still a very controlled yes. feeling. So. Yeah, I always feel like it's like a, you feel it on your butt. Like you just, it's a butt dyno thing where you can feel the weight there. Butt dyno. Yes. Okay. That's my butt official dino. terminology, right. butt dyno. That's, I'm sure there's a trademark that. on that, trademark <laughs> on that. You trademarked him, butt dyno. <laughs> but you, you can feel that weight and you can feel it. I mean, yeah, you feel it in your back. You can, you can feel that, the, that is, and you can, what, you can see where people get in trouble, right? So that weight's going to push you forward right. as you slow down. And we have a trailer brake control that, I don't know, if, uh, it should be on with tow haul mode. So this trailer brake control here, you have plus or minus. You can adjust how much the brakes in the trailer help grab. And so the idea there is, is if you feel like you're losing control too much, you can in, add to the trailer brake control to make it very much a... Oh, you got a big truck coming. So this is a challenging. We have a big 3500. Oh, this is like a huge thing coming towards With the trailer me. coming towards us. Uh, and we're trying to go around. We're fine. We're all good here. Okay. So if you feel like you want a little more trailer uh, <laughs> trailer grip and grab with the brakes, you can adjust that. Or you can have less. Some people like mm -hmm. less because the more you put on, the more you're going to heat those brakes up and we're going to use them. Right. And brake fading is going to happen because they're going to get too hot. They're not going to be able to hold what they used to hold as far as braking performance. Isn't this fun stuff? This is fun stuff. It's so much different than being a McLaren on a track, isn't it? <laughs> Considering what I was driving yesterday was an all-new something or other sedan, it's a little bit different. <laughs> and then an unmentioned sedan that was all new. This is not the same. All right. Now, I'm in the driver's seat, and we're going up the mountain. So, I was looking at the door, and we're trying to figure out the max towing on this. I don't have a number, yeah. but I can tell you that with the long bed and the crew cab, I'm gonna guess for probably 27,000. I'll put that number down below. I'll see how close I am. I don't know right now, but I'll put it down below. And so we're probably about, I think we're about half capacity what this truck's capable of doing. Probably about half, yeah. If, yeah. Your, numbers, if your guess is right, we'll be about half. Oh, and uh, six, this is the 6.7 liter high output Cummins diesel, so 1,000 foot pounds of torque. We have the ASIN six speed, eight speed. We'll get back to you on that we'll one. We'll get back. He'll put that down below. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's a six-speed. Um, sorry. You get out here driving, you forget Great little crap. details like this. Uh, 410 uh, horsepower, 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. And uh, I just looked at the sticker on this. 87,710 is what your price is going to be on this. Six-speed. 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 Six there we go. There go. <laughs> uh, I was thinking other manufacturers are starting to do eight-speed. So uh, six-speed on this. And so we're going to go up the mountain and uh, give it a little bit of something here. See how high we can get up here. But it's got let it, plenty of give and go. Of, yeah, it's not, it's not even working. Nope. And we can hear it going. And what's, again, what's fascinating about this 
is it's a big Cummins diesel engine, six point sub liter. That's a huge yeah. engine, and it's still quite quiet in the cab. I think the quietness of these trucks is surprising me. I expected much more noise, much more annoying sound, and it's right. just you hear the engine, you're like, okay, it's working, but it's not this intrusive noise all the time. Yeah, I mean, it's very comfortable. I, I, I don't have. Looking at the heat, I got tow haul mode on, but I don't have a whole lot of transmission heat coming from this, so I'm not gonna um, worry about overheating. I do have those active grill shutters in the front that can bring cold air to the engine to keep it cooled down. And I'm going up a, I think it's a 6% grade, because we came out 6% grade. Right. And I got plenty of power left. Uh, really, like I said, comfortable ride. Lots of great interior amenities to make it even more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And uh, very one-handed talking to my phone, so <laughs> how much more comfortable can I get? Right, exactly. All right, let's get up the hill and drive something a bit bigger. Okay. Deal. You're on. It's a dead stop. So I'm a dead stop here, uh, 15,000 pounds, and when you start going, it's the off line with the torque. Right. And so I'm putting my foot into it, and we're going to feel, you know, yeah, we got a lot of pounds. So let's take a little bit, 25, 30, and now it's still going. Now I got the next gear shifting. You just feel how much more power. Like, I'm gonna start getting this. I'm 40. I'm hitting to be 45. I'm gonna get to this point where it's gonna be like, okay, I gotta slow down myself <laughs> unless I run off the road. Yeah, there's no sense of the truck is really working and barely giving you what you need. It's like, okay, fine, we'll go. Yeah, yeah. I'm not not concerned at all about yeah. you know getting out of this canyon. There's no concerns with that, which is very different. So you remember this Cummins back in the day? It was like a 600 foot pounds of torque. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll get the exact numbers, but it was 600 foot pounds of torque then they went to 700 then went to 800 then went to 900 and now we're at a thousand they've done that with the same engine the, the same engine design just changed out pieces mm -hmm. made it cooling better made it more efficient and now we're a thousand foot pounds of torque and anybody can get down in these valleys with a camper with your trailer full of toys with uh, equipment or uh, construction equipment and you can get out without feeling like you're overworking the truck Absolutely. overheating yeah it's a very confident driving experience like I'm, I'm i've been driving for a little bit now and i I'm not fatigued at all. No. This makes, uh, you know, I, I, it feels like it's something that would make towing easier. Especially if you're having to do this all the time and you have a long distance that you've got to cover. Yep. It's going to take the exhaustion out of it. Absolutely. All right. We're on the road here with the new 2019 Ram 3500. I got a regular cab dually. I have the 6.7 liter high output Cummins diesel and I got 35,100 pounds behind me. This is the max I've ever towed, and uh, it should be a fun time. So I'm gonna go down this 5% grade, take my time. I got the tow haul mode engaged, doing about 15 miles an hour, and just letting it run. I'm not gonna try to force it. I'm not gonna get on it. Uh, going down especially, I'm gonna let the engine do the work. You know, keep that uh, revved up a little bit higher, but let that engine slow me down with the exhaust brake. Just going down the mountain. So this is an impressive amount of weight. I, I'm not sure what our distribution is, but we have the backhoe back there, and we have a bunch of wood, or, excuse me, a bunch of cylinder blocks, cinder blocks back there. And so there's a, it's a good dispersed ride. You know, I got cinder blocks in the front, I got backhoe in the back, so it's a very leveled load. I got the fifth wheel trailer hooked up from, uh, we're using big techs. I don't know, this is Max something, on Max D trailers. So a big trailer, a big load. But I mean, this is really what 35,100 pounds is meant for, is construction. So instead of using a 4,500, a 5,500, like you would say five, 10 years ago, you can now buy a one ton and move the same amount of weight that you used to. And so it's nice, you know, it's nice to be able to get something that uh, would probably cost a little bit less. Um, I'd have to do some little math on that. Maybe I'll put it down below on different cost. So you can hear that Cummins really winding up. I don't know if you can hear the sound. I'm going to use both hands. My phone is next to me on the on the uh, center bench here. And I'm going to leave my phone there. I'm not going to do the thing where I uh, hold it and talk because I want to make sure I'm concentrated. Both hands on the wheels. I did adjust my mirrors and uh, we just now doing 24 miles an hour. It's shifted on me, which is fine. Um, I can set a gear limit. I have a gear limit on option on the steering wheel. So I could dictate what gear I want to you know, not go above. If I want to hold a certain gear, if I want to make sure I don't get the sixth speed. I just want to keep third, fourth gear. But tow haul mode is going to help on that as well as the uh, exhaust brake is going as well. And the exhaust brake is pretty important too because that way you're not going to um, destroy your brakes. 
you, the challenge with towing this much, it's not just the getting going. We have a thousand foot-pounds of torque for that, but it's stopping. Um, I have another video about the engineer talking about the improvements they did to the chassis and the improvements they did to the braking then to improve the brake stopping distance and also to improve how well it stops as you're towing more weight. Because once, once it gets going, you got to stop it eventually. That's, that's the part of the deal. So I'm having no problems here, 27 miles per hour. I uh, feel pretty steady. You know, I, I don't have a lot of bounce in my back. I'm not really fighting it. When I slow down here, I'm going to get on the brakes a little bit. And you can feel a little bit, but boy, it's slowing right down. And quickly, too. So I, 20, uh, 15, and I probably got 50% braking stopping going on um, as far as how much my foot is getting into the pedal. I'm not all the way in. I'm not going to slam my brakes. Well, I'm never going to slam my brakes with this, this much trailer. Um, I do have the brake controller on. Let me see what I got it at. Uh, I had 8%. 8.0 uh, trailer gain, which that might have been set by somebody else. So I'll turn it down to about six, which is right in the middle. And I have a cool, cool. Uh, so I'm just kind of driving along here. Make sure I check my mirrors. Going down the mountain, down the mountain. So that's impressive. I. Uh, it, it's kind of one of those, like I said, what it, weird things with our, this kind of much weight is it's not really for an RV. I can't imagine an RV guy would really want this much of a high output diesel and, and this much weight to be able to tow. But for a construction guy, a rancher, a farmer, I could see doing this kind of truck. So I'm going to go ahead and just get down the mountain here. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, flip it around and flip the truck around. And I'll talk to you about going up the mountain what that's going to feel like. All right, time to get this beast turned around and go up the mountain. It's a pretty good turning spot down here, so I don't have any problems and concerns with that. It's just a matter of making sure I don't go over the edge. I'm not going over the edge. Make sure I go wide. Long trailer, lots of weight. The longer the trailer is, kind of the more wide you got to go. And you go really wide, and then you kind of straighten out a little bit and go really wide. And then eventually, the trailer comes back in line just like so and I don't uh, I do not hit anything apparently some journalist decided to hit the rock over there yesterday with the horse trailer didn't tell anybody and they damaged the whole side so yeah that's my colleagues all right so we're gonna go like this you can't see but I'm going up <laughs> I'm going up the hill there's a so the lunch spot where we've been getting these trucks from is on a, on a hill grade. It's about six miles up, about five miles up, 6% grade. Five up, 6% grade. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. I need to say like manly, like 1,000 foot-pounds of torque. And we're going to move it along. Again, 35,100 pounds, most of them are towed. Uh, kind of on a public-private road, so there's a little question mark on some of that stuff. But it, we're fine. We're all legal. So we're gonna turn the corner here. So as compared to this versus the uh, dump trailer, uh, there's a video on this channel, or this video in here, I'm not sure I'm gonna do it yet, about a dump trailer that my friend Nicole Wicklin and I towed. Uh, you can feel the extra pounds in this. It really is pulling your back a little more. We had uh, 14,000 pounds of that dump trailer. And so this, you can, this you can really feel the increased weight. Uh, it's not bad though. I put my foot into it, and I still got more um, power. I still got more there, even if I put my foot into it. Um, I'm getting a lot of road vibrations. I may have to move my phone because it's jiggling quite a bit in this bench seat, but uh, quite a bit of road vibrations here. So you know, it's not riding as smooth as it was when it had less weight on it. But you know, it's weight. It's it's a weight that situation. So again, if you had a, a 4500, an older 5500, you know, you could move up to one of these new one tons and replace that vehicle um, if you wanted to. And you're probably going to tow about the same, looking at the numbers over the years. You know, it used to be about 10 years ago, we had like 17,000, 20,000 was about the max for one ton. And now 35,000. Come a long way, folks. So this is a long straightaway stretch here. And if I punch it and get all she's got, 
that's about it. Um, yeah, I mean, I got the power to do it. I'm slowly gaining speed. I was at 25. Now I'm at... No, not quite at 35. I'm at 33. 34. 35. So that took me that long to get 35 miles an hour. And I was probably at least 80 to 90 percent have my foot into it. I, I don't know if I was at the floor yet, but I had a lot of my foot into that. So, you know, this much weight, this one ton is really going to probably tax it out. I mean, you know, if you're going to go up a, uh, like the Ike Gauntlet, like uh, TFL does, I would imagine doing this, it's going to be, it'll do it, asterisk. It's going to just do it with a little bit more patience and take your time to get to the top and, you know, being smart about it, not, not racing with it. Um, in my area, you were going to tow a bunch of hay bales and things. And it'll do it. Plenty of power. A lot more power than these farmers use right now. Because those trailers really get heavy. But, you know, you can't get them too heavy. Or it just doesn't... It's a problem. You can't get the trailer that long. to get so heavy. It's a whole nine-yard thing. A whole bunch of uh, other obstacles there. So, I think overall, I'm impressed. Uh, impressed. It's hard not to be impressed. 35,000 pounds of towing. And still got some throttle. Uh, granted, I don't have a lot of throttle. And I have a pretty bouncy ride quality. But these roads are pretty bad through here, and I got a lot of weight. So that's my driving impressions on the 2019 Ram 3500 with the 35,100 pounds of towing. So for more pickup truck and SUV news, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification for notifications for new uh, videos coming out. Uh, check out PickupTruckTalk.com. Find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Type in Pickup Truck Talk. We're there. You'll find us. Trust me, we're there. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.